Hey, what's up y'all? This is Andrea with your 20 minute low impact HIIT workout. No equipment needed, so just grab a yoga mat and a water bottle and let's burn some calories. Come on, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Welcome back to your safest space on the internet to get fit from home. Very excited to have you. Congratulations on choosing you. I have a full body, low impact hit workout for you today. We'll be going through six different sets. We'll do each set two times and we'll move for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And I have a good burnout for you at the end. Your affirmation today is I trust my journey. No matter where you are, keep trusting the process. No matter what your goals are, know that everything happens for a reason and you will get there. I'll show you the first set. We're gonna go with lower body first. We'll go with a squat and twist. So feet are shoulder width apart, toes are faced out. And you're gonna squat opposite um, or twist opposite knee to elbow. Okay, we'll alternate the whole round. Three, two, one, let's go. And since it's just 30 seconds, focus on getting some good reps. Pick up the pace just a little bit. You can afford that intensity because it's short. And a good twist. Go five, three, two, one. Okay, now you're gonna give me some speed squats. Your hands are still behind your head. Your feet are still about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna squat it here. Squat it here. Okay, so don't go all the way down. Go about halfway down, then come up. Okay, let's go. So it's a little bit more of a range of motion than a pulse. So I want you to come basically all the way up without locking your knees up um, back here. So still keeping those knees slightly bent at the top. Come on. Now you feeling a little quad burn. Still building muscle right here, all right? Three, two, one. And so, still wanna concentrate on building that muscle to boost your metabolism and build that lean muscle mass so you can burn more calories at rest. So that's kind of where the fat loss um, portion of this workout comes in, okay? Squat and twist, let's go. So you'll be able to cut that body fat by building some muscle and burn those calories. That's all we're doing right here. Trusting our journey. Even when you get tired throughout this workout, you're gonna trust that it's working. Trust that you should be here. Three, two, one. All right, one more time with that um, speed squat. <laughs> And then we'll move on. Five, three, two, one, let's go. Even though you're going pretty fast, your breath doesn't necessarily have to align with those reps. So take a big deep breath in as you're speaking through it. Concentrate on that to make it a little bit easier. It's like a mind thing. Two, one. All right, we're gonna go for some arms. We're gonna go for inch worm push up. So inch worm it down. If you need to, drop to your knees, push it up, come up, and then inch warm it back. All right, I do want your hands on the mat the whole time so you don't have to stand up. Let's go, 30 seconds. So try a couple on your toes. If you need to stick to your knees, Make sure your butt is down. Your butt is not in the air. Come on, come on. You're doing good. Tight, tight core. Let's go three, two, one. Great job. Now we're gonna go for a side plank crunch. Let's start on our right side. Right knee is going to be bent. 
shoot that hip up towards the ceiling and I want you to crunch it here. Okay, so objective is to keep this bottom hip up as you crunch. Let's go, 30 seconds. So you're trying not to dip and I am crunching, folding right in front of me. And if crunching gets to be like, oh girl, you're doing too much, just hold it right here, right here. Still gonna get some oblique work in. 10 seconds. Five. Two. One. Nice work. Next time we'll go left side, back to that inchworm push up. You're doing good, you're doing good. Don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna keep moving. Let's go. Two. One. Inchworm push up. If you're going for a wide push-up, it helps to have your legs a little bit closer. If you're going for a close push-up where your arms are closer to each other, it helps to have your legs a little bit wider. Five, three, two, one. Nice work. Flipping it over to the left side. And then we're gonna stand up and do some more legs. Three, two, one, come on. Let's crunch it. Breathe out when you drive that knee. Come on, come on, stay up. Stay up with me. Five, three, two, one. Okay, for the legs, we're gonna go for a front lunge. So let's start with stepping with our right leg in front. And you're gonna front lunge here, okay? Two, one, so give me a good push. Main thing with these lunges, what I see so often is you get down here and you try to scoop it up. Back is nice and straight. Go as low as possible where you can keep your back straight and then push off. And don't drag that leg back either whenever you're pushing it off. Pick it up, all right? Two, one, okay. Now I'm gonna go to the left side of my mat. That leg that was just moving, the right leg, is gonna go for my side lunge now. So I'm here. Shoot the hips back, just moving it. Join me in three, two, one, come on. Same thing here, don't scoop up. Really use that leg power to get yourself up. You got it, you got it. One, okay. Sometimes I look at myself on camera and I look at how I move and I'm like, am I moving kind of lazy? <laughs> Don't look like I want to be here. <laughs> I do, I promise. Sometimes I catch myself like, just not. Let's go two, one. Um, front lunge with the left leg. Just not looking very present, I guess, in the movement. And I'm like, no, I promise. <laughs> but that was a thing when I was, I played basketball, ran track. And my coaches would always tell me, like, you need to look like you, I don't know, you're giving a lot of energy. And I'm like, I am. I'm trying right now. I'm just a naturally chill person. I can't help it. And that goes to say, it doesn't matter how you look when you do it, as long as you're doing it. Two, one. All right, now we're gonna go for that side lunge. Look, I'm not worried about that one. I know that I'm trying. That's what matters, period. But if I do come off like that sometimes, just know, I'm trying to, <laughs> one, let's go. So, with our left leg with this side lunge. Anybody else have an experience like that? When someone's telling you need to go harder, go harder? I'm like, look, <laughs> this is my heart. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> doing good, doing good, 10 seconds. 
five. And then we're gonna lay it on our back, all right? Two, one, nice work. Just keep moving, keep moving. We're gonna go four, two tricep dips. So you're gonna be one, two, and then give me two bridges. One, two, all right? Two, one, come on. So dip, dip, bridge. Come up and squeeze. And make sure that your arms are far enough behind you so that you can get some range of motion and that you don't end up here as well. Nice straight back. Five. Two. One. Okay. Now we're gonna go for a pike push up. So you'll be in a pike position, but it's in the air elbows or your biceps are right by your ears. Drive those elbows out and push. Two, one, let's go. And really just go as low as your body weight allows you to. Your, the top of your head doesn't have to touch the mat, but if it can, you do that, you go. Tight, tight core right here. Three, two, one. Nice work. Flip it over. We're gonna go for those tricep dips and glute bridges. And if you feel like you look silly doing some of these moves, do not be afraid to try something new. Two, one. I'm always gonna challenge you. I'm always gonna give you, bring you variety. Don't be thinking like, Oh my goodness, I look crazy doing this. It's a matter, you might look a little crazy, but you know you're gonna get results, and you know you're stepping out your comfort zone. That's important in life. Worst thing you can do is get complacent and get content, because then you don't grow, and that's what we want to grow. Three, two, one. Okay, so you don't look crazy. You just look like you're trying something new. Let's go for these pipe push-ups. Let's go three, two, one. We got it. And I'm telling you, once you really learn to step out your comfort zone, you're gonna wanna try it again and again and again because guess what? What was once super hard for you is gonna become a lot easier and you're gonna begin to do it like the back of your hand. It's like it's ain't nothing. Let's go three, two, one. And that's my favorite part about growing. Now we're gonna go for a sumo squat and heel lift. So your feet are gonna be further than shoulder width apart. You're going to squat, and I want you to explode up on those heels. Okay, two, one, here. So you give me a calf raise, like you're about to jump. And then you're like, you're not going nowhere, girl. Stay on the ground. We got it. Go three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go for two punches. You're gonna go one, two, then you're gonna kick. We're just gonna kick with our right leg this first round, okay? One, two, kick. And let's go in. Three, two, one, let's go. And think of this kick as driving your knee first and then kicking out. Okay, so it's not an abduction. And I have a little lean whenever I kick. And it helps to have my knees slightly bent as I punch. Three, two, one. All right, back to that sumo squat. Big deep breaths. Get some water if you need it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Explode. But don't fall over. So tight core. 
It helps to use your hands. Ten. You can do it. You can do it. Three. Two. One. All right, this time we are going to kick to the left. All right, give me some good kicks, good punches, nice and strong. And somebody or something you want to take it out on. I ain't judging you. Let's go. seconds. We're gonna head to the mat and we're gonna do some core. Some abs. Three, two, one. Okay. Line on your back. We're gonna go for two leg lifts and two reverse crunches. So lift, both legs lift two times and then drive those hips up two times. Okay. Let's go. So lift, lift, Drive, drive. And if you need to put your hands under your glutes, you can do that. And if you need to just lift one leg here, you can do that for your lower back, okay? Let's go five, two, one. Okay, and next up we're gonna go for some bicycles. So you're still gonna be on your back. You're gonna go here, opposite knee to elbow, right here. Good twist. All right, let's go in three, two, one. You moved your body today, all right? Hope you're feeling good right now. Hope you're feeling like you're about to accomplish something well, well over halfway through this workout. So stay motivated, stay hype that you are here and you're doing it. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. All right, one more time with those leg lifts. So just how you started this workout, I want you to be intentional about finishing it. We're gonna go through this set and then we're gonna go through that two minute burnout I talked about. Two, one. Two leg lifts, or you're just lifting one leg this whole time. If you started with your right leg lifting, now you just lift your left leg the whole time. Come on. After this, I want you to look at me so that you can get this move down. All right, so it's a couple of different parts to this next move. Let's go five, two, one, okay, pop it up. We're gonna go for a low impact burpee and two reverse lunges, okay? So you start in your plank position. You're gonna step it up, come up, reverse, reverse, and then you're gonna step it back, all right? When you got it, come with me. So step it up, reverse, reverse. We're gonna be here for two minutes, okay? Come on, come on. You came to work. I put this in as a challenge for the end. You know you got two minutes, so pace yourself throughout. This is definitely meant to get your heart rate up. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm here with you, I'm here with you, all right? The first minute is just about up. So just think, one more minute. If you can go faster, go faster, come on. And if you're feeling good, you can jump. Whatever works for you. Let's get it, let's get it. We're intentional about how we move. We know that it's the work we put in now that we'll see a week from now, two weeks from now, 
a month from now, all right? So it all starts here. Come on, come on. You're doing good. It's not about that end goal as it is so much about what we're doing right here in this moment. Just got 15 seconds, y'all. We're gonna keep moving. Come on. We're almost there. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Woo! Beautiful work. Great job. Get some water. Very, very proud of you. You deserve it. Do some more. You sweating right now? I'm sweating too. You breathing hard? Listen. You can do the mic. I'm breathing hard too. Great job. This is feeling you have right now. That is what it's about. That is a part of your journey. That is a beautiful part of chasing something and then letting it come to you. That is what matters. Not the 15 pounds you want to lose, not the you know two inches off of your waist you want to lose, whatever it is. Yes, is that going to be important? Yes. Is it gonna have you have some type of intention that is purposeful? Yes, but this right here is the most important part. All right, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, moment to moment, minute by minute. Okay. And you just killed this workout, so be very, very proud of yourself. If you like this workout and you are not subscribed yet to the Peace of Fitness channel, join the tribe, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your family and friends. And I cannot wait to bring y'all some more good workouts. I know you're breathing heavy right now. Go eat some water. Go eat you some protein. Let's get it. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Sir, 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 sir.